Introducing the Beagle, the dog breed that everybody loves, so much so that even Charlie Brown owned one. Okay, let's face it, Snoopy doesn't really look like a beagle, but after all, when was the last time you've seen children that look like Lucy, Linus, or Charlie Brown? But seriously, these dogs seem to have been crafted to appear cute and adorable, especially when they are puppies. And this often means trouble, and lots of it at times. Let's start by looking at the breed standard and some interesting beagle facts Dog Discoveries wants you to know. Beagles are noses on four legs. The American Kennel Club categorizes the beagle as a hound. Not many people are aware of what hounds are and what exactly they were bred to do. More specifically, beagles are scent hounds, meaning that they rely on their powerful noses to track down the scent of hair. For a good reason, beagles are known as a nose with four legs. So if you don't mind owning a nose that walks, the beagle is for you. What does this mean for prospective beagle owners? It means that they must be very careful in keeping their walking noses under control. A beagle nose knows best. So if a beagle tracks something of interest, all bets are off that he will follow the scent no matter what. There could be a road full of cars ahead, or maybe a cliff, but your beagle will keep going and going, just like the Duracell bunny. Beagle noses can get them in trouble. Beagles are notorious for not coming when called and escaping their yards, but it's important to clarify things here. It's not like your beagle is really escaping your yard, that's just the anthropomorphic view. When your beagle escapes, he's actually on a hunting mission and he takes his job very seriously because when the beagle tracks the scent of something, his mind switches to the one-track mind modality. All the beagle's concentration is focused on following the scent and you can call his name on the top of your lungs as much as you want. But from your hound's perspective, you're just barking in excitement because you have tracked that fresh scent too. Next thing you know, your beagle looks back for a second, wondering whether you're coming or not along for the hunt, and then he takes off, nose to ground for good. We can't blame him though if we look at things under his perspective. Often blamed for being stubborn or worse stupid, a beagle is doing just what a hound ought to do. Beagles were selectively bred to follow scent and track down rabbits and hare while the hunters were following at a distance. When hounds were hot on the trail, meaning that they were getting closer to the rabbits, they would start baying with enthusiasm. So even though your beagle nowadays is fed food from shiny bowls and sleeps adoringly on those plush pillows, he still remains a beagle at heart. Beagles are equipped with pleading eyes. The American Kennel Club describes the beagle's eyes as soft and hound-like with a gentle and pleading expression. Yes, it's the fault of those eyes that beagle owners cannot resist doling out those table scraps. The pleading expression gives you the idea of a dog that is starving in silence, a dog that hasn't been fed in the last 15 minutes, and that is on the brink of extinction. Before the World Wildlife Fund intervenes putting beagles as a protected species, you drop your beagle a piece of steak just to save him. The next thing you know, your beagle is emptying your trash can or stealing food off your plate. When you answer the doorbell, getting all upset about it is close to impossible though. Again, that gentle and pleading expression gives you the idea of a dog who is terribly apologetic and just can't help himself from being a chow hound. Beagle legs have propelling powers. The beagle's breed standard calls for hips and thighs, strong and well-muscled, given abundance of propelling power. Yes, beagle owners are well aware of the fact that beagles have propelling powers as their beagles take off like a jet after sighting a poor squirrel gathering nuts for the winter. After such a departure, you must be thankful if your elbows are still intact and still stored in their sockets. Even when your beagle is sleeping, those merry legs are put to work. Sigmund Freud must have been right when he said that dreams are the royal road to the unconscious. 
Because even when your beagle looks cute and inactive, slumbered on the bed. Yes, because let's admit it, on top of stealing your steak, a beagle also steals your bed. He's actively hunting your neighbor's squirrel, and those legs are propelling him in the right direction. Heck, if he was lucky, you might even hear him smack his lips and gulp with a satisfied look on his face. XX pounds slow beagles down. Let's face it, there are too many fat beagles around. That's often because when beagle owners open the trash can to toss some table scraps, the beagle strategically places himself besides it, and with those pleading eyes, says something along the lines of, why not feed me instead of the trash can? What a waste! Then beagle owners confess to their vet that they don't feed their beagles any table scraps. But next thing you know, their beagle craps in the vet's office and it's full of undigested corn. Jokes aside, obesity is a big problem in dogs, not to mention beagles. Yet, even when owners take precautions, when the beagle is not begging for food, stealing a sandwich, or raiding the trash can, he's likely hunting down rabbit pellets or deer berries. No wonder why beagles love to hunt so much. Beagles are wash and wear dogs. One of the best advantages of the beagle is in the grooming department. The beagle is often described as being a wash and wear dog, but what does that mean exactly? No, it doesn't mean you can toss your beagle in the washing machine for some tumbling action and then wear him as a scarf. A wash and wear dog simply means that you can sit down and relax without worrying about fancy hairdos. Heck, even if your beagle chases rabbits and rolls in puddles, well, let's face it, it could have been much worse like rolling in poop, he still manages to look good. This is courtesy of a hound's oily coat, which helps repel dirt and water. So when you're in the mood for a cleanup, just give Snoopy a regular bath after combing the coat and freeing it of any dirt and debris. Beagle Shed However, beagles shed and have an odor. First of all, there is no such thing as a pill that makes dogs shed less. If there was such a magic pill, it would have allowed Bruce Willis to grow hair. So any dogs that have fur will shed. Instead of asking, do dogs shed, it would be far more productive to ask, do they have hair? Which is a silly question after all. Well, the stinking old truth is that beagles will shed, so just arm yourself with a good vacuum and some lint rollers and learn to live with it. And while all dogs have a doggy odor, consider that hounds tend to have a distinctive odor. Some like to call it hound smell, but to put it more bluntly, it's more like a hound stink. The same oil responsible for making the hound a wash and wear dog is responsible for the distinctive eau de hound. Luckily, a nice bath can temporarily diffuse the houndy stink bomb. But here's the best part. Most hound owners' noses habituate to the smell and hardly ever notice. Beagles have a distinctive voice. The word beagle derives from the French word bequel, not to be confused with baguette, a type of French bread. What does bequel mean? It means gaping throat. And the origin of the name is not surprising. When the hound starts baying, his voice comes out loud and clear, so much so that neighbors may be calling the cops. Because the beagle's voice is not like a bark, nor like a howl, it's more like some sort of alpine yodeling sound. Beagles thrive when doing what they were bred to do. Hounds are really hunting dogs, and they may struggle at times to adapt to living in a domestic setting. Sure, they love to eat food and sleep on cozy beds, but they still have a strong desire for doing what they were bred for, which is tracking scent. In a small yard, things can get boring after some time, especially when there are tempting whiffs of scent coming from the other side of the fence. But a motivated beagle is a determined beagle. If the beagle cannot jump over the fence, he'll dig right under. And if he can't dig under, he'll try to climb. And don't think you can outsmart the beagle with those flimsy latches. Beagles have been known to open those as well. The thing is, beagles are happiest when they're allowed to do what they like best. 
wander and sniff. A walk around the block won't cut it for most beagles. This doesn't mean though that you must have acreage and let them walk miles a day to make these dogs happy. If you can find a large, safely fenced area, you can give him the illusion that he's free to do as he pleases. Alternately, you can attach him to a long line and allow him every now and then to go on a sniffing adventure. To make him even happier, you can enroll him in some canine activities that put his nose to work, such as canine nose work or some fun beagle field trials. There are no stupid beagles. The beagle is not stubborn nor stupid. Repeat, beagles are not stubborn nor stupid. They just need smart dog owners who understand them. First off, stop making comparisons. If you are a chemist and your neighbor is a lawyer, that doesn't mean that he's smarter than you. It just means that you have been trained for a different career. Now, there are those who believe beagles are difficult to train because they lack big time in the IQ department. Others may say that beagles are difficult to train because they are stubborn and don't want to please you. Again, wrong, wrong, wrong. Beagles can be trained and some dedicated owners have even put obedience titles on their beagles. All beagles need is enough motivation and an area with not many distracting smells going on. Of course, if you start training your beagle to heal in the yard and there are rabbit droppings every step you take, your beagle may prefer those to those stale cookies you have in your pocket. With beagles, it's important to start training in a quiet room where there are not many distractions going on and to use high value treats and then gradually move on to more and more distracting areas. Slow and steady wins the race. If you progress too quickly, it may be too difficult for your hound to concentrate when all the background scents keep distracting him. With the right incentive and determination, hounds can be taught to sit, stay, heal, and come when called. A dog trainer familiar with hounds may show you how. Last but not least, beagles are lovable. Beagle puppies are often difficult to resist, and that's why you often find them in cutesy pictures on calendars sniffing flowers. It should be illegal to make them so cute. Not only are beagles cute, but bred and raised well, they are also blessed with many wonderful temperaments. It's quite difficult to stumble on an angry beetle who had a bad day. One important consideration is that beagle puppies grow fast, and once their hound personalities start shining through, owners must be ready to deal with all its entertaining facets. For those who are warned beforehand though, it seems that it makes them easier to set. And then again, that cute face is perhaps there for a purpose, to help owners learn more about forgiveness. So put together those pleading eyes, merry, happy-go-lucky personalities, and now you know why so many people fall in love with beagles and never look back. Well, actually, maybe they should look back before their beagles manage to steal food right under their noses. Please like us and subscribe for more fascinating dog discoveries.